welcome back to my huge channel everybody you cannot imagine how much i missed saying the sentence i literally missed it here i can't believe it um well i've been on vacation i do not know if any of you actually realized i wasn't active maybe you have so i've been on vacation and i was a week at the beach and the week in the city and it was like the best time ever i loved it and i want to go back immediately i'm depressed you know these post um, vacation blues and um, I mean Germany is nice and stuff but people are like so boring here <sighs> have you been anywhere I, th I feel like August has been pretty silent in general so tell me where you have been because I'm looking for new vacation possibilities if there's anything in Europe probably you know like I heard like Croatia Slovenia and stuff should be pretty cool anyway I've been yesterday live on show studio and I do not know if you know that, but it's a super cool platform that I follow since ever since. And I would never actually have imagined that they kind of invite me to a panel discussion, but they did. Um, and that was super cool. You know, Hannah was also there from I Deserve Couture and two other very incredible people. And I felt very honored uh, to be asked to, um, yeah, just take part at this panel discussion. It was very cool. It was about Peter Doe. And I think you can watch it still on their website or on their Instagram or something. It's, it was very interesting and it was super fun. So actually today I also wanted to talk about a runway show. You know, New York Fashion Week is going on, Spring Summer 22. Or talk about some trends because I feel like we see some trends evolving or we actually know what is going to be a trend even though we do not participate in them. But I think it's always interesting to pretend to be an oracle, you know, like Nostradamus and just have some assumptions about what is going to be very on trend. But actually I thought I might just share with you what I got while I was on vacation and previously it was sales season, summer sale. I know it's like totally too late, but I wasn't able to share with you some things. I mean, I know you will love this one. Do you see that? You know, I'm, 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 you guys love Magella. I know that it's uh, me, of course, also, even though I do not own like too many Magella pieces. I have a green box here you know what it is and i have like two other random things also color here and i want to talk about them where i got them from and what you should like have a eye on when you're buying on sale or um uh, or just shopping in general and yeah if you like my previous videos and if you like my intro where i talk like for three minutes now just about myself and um, do not forget to subscribe or follow me on instagram where i also share like more of my personal styles where you can get inspired by uh, this beautiful looks uh, that I create. So, um, which one should I start with? Maybe I start with the shirt because it's a textile. So this is like the criteria that I have now. It is a Marnie piece. Um, I love Marnie in this the last two seasons. I think that has changed a lot with this brand. Yeah, the last collection was beautiful. I love the skirts. I have to say. I will put it right here. I, I bought the skirt actually because it was really like one of my uh, goal items that I wanted to have in this season. Uh, I, I saw like one or two pieces wearing it and I was mesmerized. It was beautiful. And um, yeah, I got it and it was still very pricey to me. You know, it was like 50% off and it was still a lot. I, I mean, it was like 400 euros for a skirt. And even though I love skirts, I know that I will wear them like not even five times in a year usually. So I really am a person who still kind of calculates cost per wear. So first of all, I shopped at KDW, a Kaufhaus des Westens. It's like one of the most uh, old heritage and prestigious uh, malls uh, in Germany. I, I think one of the oldest luxury houses and it still exists. So I love the building and I guess many people do not know that, but they have like one of the best selections I have ever seen in a store. I mean, they had Y Project, they had, okay, they also have like Heron Preston and Jack Muse and stuff, but they had Dries van Noten, Bottega. You usually do not see a lot of ready to wear of these brands. You see a lot of accessories, shoes and stuff, but you don't see their ready to wear and they have everything, Gisanda. So every time I'm in Berlin, I go straight away to, um, to, to KDW, I love it. And they had this huge money collection, also like the skirt. I, I guess I could only find it at Matches and Farfetch. So Netta Portner apparently didn't like the striped skirts because they didn't buy any. And there weren't like many stores having them. I bought that one, but as I told you, I, I gave it back. 
Uh, and then I got this shirt, which is super sweet. It is, um, it seems like these men's Hawaiian cuts. Uh, what is very interesting here is it has a very, uh, it has the smaller button, so you can button it like this, you know, and then it's like hidden under the collar. Um, it's a super hot pink, uh, not like, it's, it's a darker pink tone, I would say. And then it ha also has here a logo, which I think is super sweet because it looks like it's hand um, stitched or something and not too, you know, like logo, logo. Uh, I like these kind of shirts um, and it's super big. I got size 42, made in Turkey, yeah. I think I got size 42. I could have gotten a sm uh, size smaller, but they didn't have it. The smaller one was 38 and I didn't want it to fit at all, you know, like tight or close. Um, tight uh, on me i want it to be a very wide shirt and to um usually when i wear color i like to um do it very bold you know not to mix very a lot of colors but this one i have i think i have a picture where i wear this with a white josanna skirt i think it looked cool i i like the look and um yeah it's a cool shirt and this was like so it was like 50% uh, off and had a very good price and this is something i can easily wear wear more often and um which also because of its color is a bit more special because i have like a lot of shirts now uh but i also like in summertime because i never wear t-shirts guys don't ask me why i picked this shirt i have i was just um doing groceries Re literally this is what i wore and um i was just not in the mood to change and i thought like okay i look like i was running around when i was younger so it's fine Okay, we have this shirt. It's cool. I try to get it if you have if you have some. I think it's very unisex also. Uh, I can also imagine men's wearing it easily. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was a cool shirt. Very good price. KDB. You need to check if they send, make international shipping. By the way, many of you, not too many, but I get very often like questions like, where did you get that? How to, can I get this or that? Um, would you be interested in me making like? I don't know what I can do because I don't have a website or anything, but like a page where I just link stuff because I don't think it's it helps you a lot to do it under the videos because usually not everyone, you know, has seen the video and stuff where I have like my best shirts, best pants, best shoes. Would you be interested in this kind of things? If yes, tell me and I will just link it. Um, like my favorite items because it's, it's a good selection. Then coming to Margiela, Mr. This is a piece I think many would freak out for because it's definitely a special Maison Magella shoe. And I have to say, it, it is of course one of the tubby selections. Um, I love the tubbies. I love them on everyone that I've seen them ever since. I'm not a tubby person. I do not know why, but I'm not a tubby person. Um, it's not only that I feel like it doesn't look cool on me, it's also like it doesn't look cool on me you know I, it's just i don't know i feel wrong and sometimes I, I actually feel more comfortable when i wear maybe a different shoe that is yeah that is very striking but maybe not that much maybe i'm just not confident enough i do not know what it is but whenever i tried them on i was like mm, okay this is not me and also i'm like usually when it comes to shoes i like it a bit more like bold and chic and i know that tubbies are definitely very bold but it's not like the leather i'm looking for usually i do not tend to buy like very soft leather and stuff and tubbies seem to me to be like very soft and um, natural so that's the reason why i usually didn't get them until i saw that pair, pair here which was always the only pair that i was craving for which i wanted to have and this one I got from the Vu store. You must know it at uh, the Vu store in Berlin. It also like one of the best boutiques in Germany, I would say. Uh, they have a great selection with Nancy Dojaka, Isa Boda and stuff, and also Miu Miu and Magella. And this is the loafer I always wanted to have because that's very me. Because as you know, if you know me um, by now, I, I, I like to dress like a bit... Um, I mean, it's hard to say that. I don't want to say I have an eclectic style because like the hell everyone has an eclectic style if you do not wear just like one only style. Um, but I would still say I like it to be a bit elegant some usually or like the sophisticated um, underlying vibe around it. Something I can wear very cool where, you know, this is a chic shoe. 
it's like, hey, I'm a loafer, and then it's like, poof, I'm a horse foot. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, it's funny. And they're beautiful. I have to say, when it comes to sizing, I heard that Magella is like crazy when it comes to sizing because every shoe obviously has a different size palette. I'm a 39 um, European size and my problem usually is, especially in terms of loafers, I have very slim and long feet. Uh, that means that usually my size is still like, my feet is coming out because it I do not fill in the space with my foot. So um, yeah, that is my issue also with that one. But since this is not like, this is a very long loafer and not sometimes they're, in, they're ending here, then I have more issues. But since this is a longer one and because of the tubby, my feet are holding in better. You know, it's like they can't, my foot can't come out immediately. And that, so that's why it's easier, but I love this one. It was 50% off. I have never seen any Magella shoe 50% off. It was the last piece on very, very much sale. Uh, Woo store, they definitely ship internationally because I think you can even click on Korean or Chinese when you're looking at their web website. They have a great selection, not the hugest, but they have a good one. That's the Magella piece I got. And um, I mean, I have a few ones, but it's my first tubbies. So I feel like I'm not a virgin anymore. Um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, of course I spend some money, but uh, I do it usually very focused and usually only in sale season because um, we're working hard guys, as all of us do, you know, we're working very hard for our money. Um, I told you in one of, I think like I did a video about like a haul I did at one of this luxury houses in Turkey that is famous like it's like the only one but it's a um, they have several of them it's called Bayman and I know they don't ship internationally so that's why I don't um, cannot really recommend it but if you have someone uh, abroad there or maybe there's like shipping or you know the shipping tour or something that's also how I ordered some things from the US for example uh, you should check it out because prices are way lower to me in sale season, especially for me comparing to Netta Porta or matches or something. And they have outlets, which I obviously all of them know. Um, they're like really at the end of the world. I'm, it's like I go by bus there because I don't have a car in Turkey and it's I'm just dressing very normal. You know, I mean, you know the way I dress. It's like sometimes I look like a Catholic nun. Usually I do, yeah, that's it. I usually dress like one and uh, not very not very naked, I would say. Uh, and that day, I think I wore this slit skirt that has like slits everywhere and just a normal polo knit over it. Um, and then, I mean, Turkey is of course a conservative country, but you, when you're in Istanbul, it's like the coolest place on earth. I've never seen more diverse pe people. And I think one can really compare it to New York when it comes to people because everybody is crazy like everybody and um and cool and fun and crazy and sometimes they're threatening your life because you yeah sometimes you have these situations so anyway um yeah I've, I've been going there by bus and obviously all the people in the bus were like living in that district which was like not in the center it was really like in the suburb of istanbul and i was sitting there and people all were i mean some like were looking others don't even care and then there was this woman when I stood up, she was like, you know what, they don't show it only from the front anymore. They show it from the side, from the back, from the left, from the right. They show it from everywhere now. And I was like, dude, what? And I turned around and it was a woman who made some comments about my skirt because I have these slits everywhere. And it's not even like a naked, naked skirt, you know, it's like, I was like, okay, why do you, why do you talk like that? Um, so this is like the duality of the country you have to deal with because on the one hand you see like a lot of um, cool people who are living their life very openly, uh, very freely, which is not maybe something very, very uh, usual uh, there. And then there are like still, of course, very conservative people who do not have any issue to also speak that out loud. And I was going to, I was going to say something, but she seemed like very old. And then I was like, you know what? You are probably going to die in the next 10 years, 15 years. So I'm just going to wait for that. Okay, coming to the shoes. And uh, this is a model. This is my second one. So always be scared of people saying they uh, when they say never, because usually they do it. 
as I told with Bottega, first of all, okay, this green color is intense. I know, it's like the most beautiful green ever. And this is, I think, even Spring Summer 19 or 20 collection of Daniel V. But it's a shoe that I liked a lot because it's like so um, thick. Does it say which collection it is? Oh, you see it already. It's Spring Summer. I don't know. So it's this one, um, this woven thing here. A beautiful shoe, I would say. Yeah, okay, the heel is totally fine. The good thing that Bottega does now is um, they they don't do it in leather anymore. I know it doesn't look as chic. Then my first thing was also like, okay, what? I paid that much money and all I get is a shiny heel. But people wearing heels know it's, uh, it's intense with leather heels and it's not possible to wear them in the city without getting scratches like after the second day, third day, first day. Anyway, it's horrible and you pay so much money always and then you do not have the leather anymore and it's it just intense. So this is actually a great alternative and they look like super fat on your feet. I mean, I can wear it like once and I have this image in my head, by the way, as I told you, I'm 39 and the 39 of Magella is like very big. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm just a 38. This is a 38 and this is like what it looks like. I mean, I feel like this is not a very modern form. Okay, I have to do this again. But it's like very wide here. And okay, I think I, have, I had seen Christine Santanera wearing it and she wore it with like very tight leggings and then something like the Balenciaga hourglass coat. And this is also why I had it in my mind. And this was also like more than the original price was higher in Turkey, so that's why it seems like it's it's super cheap, but I got these for 300 euros. So I think it's fine, and if I do not like them anymore, I will just put them on Vestia. So this is also what I think of when I buy things. Do uh, Does it have rebuy potential? So because if I'm not happy, I can sell it. I got these ones. I think it's cool. I'm not wearing heels too often. But I still think it's good to have one and I think this will like never go out of fashion. I'm not a brown person either, but I just got these ones. I think it will look cool. I have this uh, Prada leggings that is ahead. It has this zip, you know, and if I want to be like serious and like businesswoman vibes, I can wear these ones. Um, I think they're cool and the quality, by the way, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, I mean, this is like the point where we can't say anything to Daniel Lee and his crew. Um, the quality seems very, very good. And I love the sole, you know, like the Tots loafers. Um, very nice. And I, it was a good price point. I think, weren't they at retail like seven or 800 or something? I mean, at least 700, I guess. S01. Oh, it was his first collection. Okay. And it's made in Italy. Okay. Okay. So this one's very nice as well. I went to this Turkish boutique. Um, they're like a lot of you have to know like Turkey is since ever um, Like the home country of textile and production not only in terms of cotton, but also because of the Silk Road and everything, you know um, Turkey is like the country that connects East and West a lot. I mean, it's like the only country that Consists of two different con continents, you know, like it connects Europe and Asia in Istanbul You have maybe seen the bridge just making a little bit of advertising for my homeland. But they have like extremely well um, owned boutiques as well and very good quality, I think comparable to like Italian boutiques. And, um, but nobody knows them. Even my Turkish friends have no clue about them because they're like, okay, it's so old fashioned, you know, my mom shops there, but usually I like these kind of, these Max Mara vibe stores where you can get a good cashmere or good wool knit. Uh, Uniqlo is nice, but sometimes I also miss like very high quality and I got a piece that is It is very vacation tuba. It is not tuba daily or maybe tuba business working um, It is of a brand called Mosilla and It's super sweet. It's a polo which has it's not terry cloth, but it has a very interesting color. It, it does look more luxurious and um, It's it's a knit. It's actually a knit and then it has this color in different fabric. Um, it's super sweet. Um, it's not a, it's, you cannot unbutton it totally. I mean, the buttons are like the only thing I wasn't a huge fan of because you have like these knots here, this marine knots, which also looks like 
why is L from afar? I just realized. Anyway, it's super sweet um, and I can wear that very, very well with my navy pants that I just have like 50 of. So I thought this is cool and I, this was like, I mean, right now uh, this was like 30 euros and it's very good quality. It's a heritage piece. It's an old Turkish boutique. They make, and this was like, I got this also because it wasn't sale, but they have like extremely well uh, made basics you know i wanted to get all of them but i didn't want to spend too much more money because going out and stuff ripped me but um they had like tops cardigans leggings like very cool cuts you know i mean i'm sure max mara doesn't have them like that and then i mean definitely next time i'm i'm, I'm keeping my money for musle um, well, these are like the main pieces I got. I can't recall now anything else like that is of importance that I got. I got like one or two Uniqlo pieces. They had some um, black and khaki um, knit polos that I hadn't seen previously. And I think that was new and I got these also like they were 20 euros and I was wearing them every day in Turkey. They were like the best for vacation and also summer because I mean, I wear a t-shirt now, but it's it's been ages since I've worn like a normal shirt because I think something that is knit or um, not like of jersey fabric always looks better and shirts just usually do not enhance the style you want to have or you think of. So usually t-shirts are just like the easiest piece to go. And, um, you know, if of course what you're wearing at home is like, doesn't, is not important, even though that is a totally different story, but um, I think it's important to wear like also upper pieces that are uh, and I think you can um, create that very well if you're skipping jersey. Sometimes jersey is nice but usually skip it. So this has been it. Um, I hope this wasn't like too much just hey look what I bought focused. And to, to the next video we're definitely going to talk about some trends uh, and my favorite shows. Um, and do not forget to watch the show studio one. It was really super fun and super cool. And don't forget to subscribe to this video channel, to this to your favorite channel ever in the world. And my Instagram, I'm waiting for you um, right now. 